what a semester that means everything has to come to an end packing up moving to a new location but I'm not going home yet this week I decided to take the time to explore a little bit more of Portugal and I'm going to Évora. Évora is an hour and 30 minutes away from Lisboa and it's the perfect place to spend my time after I finish my finals and I'm so excited to share this experience with y'all and I hope that you enjoy this sweet and short video. I made it to Évora. I it is 11 a.m. I'm going to try to find some lunch and then I'm going to explore Ebora for the rest of the day. And I've never been here before, so it's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited and yeah, but I'm really hungry, so let's go find food. I decided to choose a very local location and this place, they had a whole different Portuguese. I did not really understand what the lady was telling me, but this dish right here is spinach, potatoes, bread in a soup. I'm telling you, it sounds disgusting, but it's actually really good and I ate that plate in probably five seconds. That's a lie. But it was really amazing, I enjoyed it. Finally, my hair is not a mess. So I finally ate lunch. That lunch cost me 650 euros. I actually went far away from the tourist place and I was walking to try to find a local restaurant because what happens usually is the tourist places are super 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 expensive your plate will start at 10 euros and they'll probably go as high as 18 euros if you ever want to travel well when you ever travel to any type of new area in portugal or i'm traveling in general but mostly in portugal because i know portugal a little bit more than any other country in europe is don't ever eat near the tourist places walk around Try to find a local restaurant because the food is always cheaper. I never have gone above eight euros in um, in a lunch here in Portugal, and if I do, that includes a starter, the entree, and a dessert. So make sure that you are really exploring the place and not just hitting the tourist locations. So now I'm going to be hitting the tourist locations of such monuments that are. One of the monuments is O Templo Romano. A beautiful and of course there's a history behind it, but of course I don't remember all of it. Later I went to go visit a park. Super beautiful with a beautiful view and it started to rain so it was just really nice to kind of sit down and relax and just not worry about any homework that I don't have to do anymore. I later went to go visit a Igreja de São Francisco, which was very beautiful, yet I didn't want to record a lot because it is a church and I wanted to respect it. I later went to a Capela dos Ossos, which means Chapel of Bones. Here is a very symbolic chapel. As you enter, it is filled with bones skulls and different types of bones it's to remind anyone that goes inside that they were created you know in dust as well they will die in dust kind of to remind us that we are nothing compared to god but as well that we are everything to him it's a very humble yet interesting place to be as you think about who you are and who god is
Lastly, I went to go visit a Catedral de Évora. Portugal never disappoints me. I'm always amazed of the views, amazed of just how the buildings are still strongly established, and just the history of everything. I encourage everyone to go visit Évora if they have the chance. And at last, my video is super short because my phone did die in the end, sadly. My phone died after my last video that I recorded. I went hunting for a place that I can charge my phone. I didn't record anything for the past hour. And so I went to go buy these glasses, um, sunglasses, and I asked them if I could let, if they could allow me to charge my phone there, and they said yes. This was the last of my trip for finals, but it's not the end of my trip. So stay tuned for next week because I'm going to be in a place that I never knew and thought I would be.